Tigers are taking on the 6-3 Clemson Tigers, ranked ninth nationally in the country. Here's the visiting lineup for the Tigers. Batting first, the left fielder Sam Russ. Batting second, the center fielder Mackenzie Clark. Batting third, the designated player Valerie Cagle. Batting fourth, the right fielder Marissa Gombardo. Batting fifth, the second baseman number 12, Cami Pereira. Batting sixth, the third baseman number 16, Aaliyah Logaleo. Batting seventh, the catcher Ab uh, Abby Vieira. Batting eighth, the first baseman number 15, Madison May. And batting ninth, the shortstop number 28, Maddie Moore. In the circle for the Niners in this midweek matchup is Lindsey Wall Jasper, holds a 5 0 record, making her fifth star of the year, has gone. Uh, three complete games, 29 innings, 22 hits, 7 and runs, 8 walks, and 31 strikeouts. And holds a 1.69 ERA. Law Jasper's last start, beating the 22nd ranked Dukes of James Madison. 7 innings, 4 hits, 1 earned run, 1 walk, and 10 strikeouts. So just about un underway here from Charlotte. Clemson coming in ranked 9th in the country. The 49ers at 10 and 1, the Tigers at 6 and 3. It'll be Sam Rust to lead off for the Tigers. The transfer from North Carolina State. Batting 345 so far in the season through nine games as Walt Jasper deals. First pitch swing, grab ball to second. Frazier on to first for the out. And that'll send up the center fielder number seven, Mackenzie Clark. Clark with a 214 average here in her sophomore season, starting in all nine games. Six hits, six runs, one double, one triple, and two RBIs. Clark, a preseason first team ACC selection. Was a 2021 All ACC team member. First pitch outside, ball one. Defensively for the Niners behind home plate, Stacey Payton at third, Ella Chancey at short, Corey Henderson at second, Michaela Frazier. And at first, Courtney Grimion. And from left to right in the outfield, Anna Devereaux in left, Lexi Wagner in center. And Bailey Vinoy in right. Throw on to first in time after the bunt from Clark. Two quick outs for Wall Jasper. And it's now Valerie Cagle at the plate for the Tigers. Cagle, the player of the year and freshman of the year in the ACC last season. One of the best two-way players in the country. Ranking number 72, the designated player today. Batting 345 so far on the season with three home runs and 10 RBIs. First pitch in there for a strike. Has a double and five runs as well. A one from Wall Jasper. In there for a strike. Now an 0-2 count. No balls, two strikes, two outs after two ground outs. One from Russ and Clark. Now Cagle in no two count. Well, Jasper will look at the signs and deal the 0-2. Just high for ball one. Charlotte on a five game win streak. 10-1 here on the season. 9-1 at home, only played one road game. A 6-1 win. Over the Gamecocks at South Carolina. 1-2 from Wall Jasper. Ground to the third. Chancey Field throws on to first for out number three. And that'll end the inning. A 1-2-3 inning for Wall Jasper as she retires the side. Russ went down. Clark and Cagle with Millie Thompson, the starter here for the Tigers. Making her third start of the year. 11 innings, four hits. No earned runs, one walk, and 13 strikeouts. And she'll face the preseason player of the year favorite. And the player of the year last year in Conference USA and Bailey Vinoy to lead off here for the Niners. Be Vinoy, Henderson, and Grimion. One, two, three here in the order. And Vinoy will dig in the box for the Niners. Comes in with a 541 average, 20 hits, 14 runs, five doubles, three home runs, and a team leading 10 RBIs. Already a meeting in the circle by the Tigers. Thompson, the starter for the Tigers. An ACC all freshman team last year as she'll deal her first pitch here to Vinoy. Vinoy takes the first one for a strike. It was 9 1 last year in the circle with a 2.05 ERA. 
Tigers coming off playing the Clearwater Invitational. Pitch outside, now one ball and one strike to Vinoy. Vinoy here in her senior season at Leander, Texas. First player of the year in Charlotte history last season. 2-1 to Vinoy. The grounded foul, now a 2-2 count. Line up here for the Niners, ba Bailey Vinoy batting first, batting second, Corey Henderson. Batting third, Courtney Grimion. In the cleanup spot, Stacey Payton. Batting fifth, the freshman, Ella Chancey. Batting sixth, Kaya Garrett. And 7-8-9 for the Niners, Lindsey Wall, Jasper, Lexi Wagner, and Michaela Frazier. Thompson to look at the signs. Deal the 2-2 to Vinoy. Foul at third, or foul towards third. Three uh, preseason first teams here for the Niners. It'll be one, two, three in the lineup in Vinoy, Henderson, and Grimion. Vinoy fouls it out of play. Great crowd here in Charlotte. Lots of orange and green in the stands for this midweek matchup. Clemson just only a couple hours away from Charlotte. Thompson to deal the 2-2 once again. Be lined to short. Nice play by the shortstop. Throws on to first. Four out number one. And now Corey Henderson at the plate for the Niners. Hitting 441 here in her junior season, starting in all 11 games at short. Nine runs, 15 hits, three doubles, three home runs, and nine RBIs. Henderson coming in with a five game hit streak. She'll dig in against Thompson. Thompson will deal, first pitch in there for a strike. Umpires for today's game behind home plate Ed Hall at first base John Habisk and at third base Jacob Aggie. Thompson deals the 0 1. Flared into right. Easy play for the right fielder Gumbardo. Courtney Grimion at the plate. First baseman number 44, preseason all-conference selection. Being named to the first team all-conference team last year. Thompson to deal. Below ball one. Pitch to Grimion in there for a strike. Tigers first season as a team in 2017. Coached by John Rittman. 69 and 19 overall in his career at Clemson. The 1 1 to Grimion low for a ball. So what a remarkable job Clemson doing so far. Ranked ninth nationally, first time. Has a program in the top 10 in the rankings. The 2 1 to Grimion. In there for a ball. Looked like Ed Hall wanted to call a strike, but now a 3 1 count on Grimion. Stacy Payton in the on deck circle. Three one from Thompson. Grounded foul. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Scoreless here in the bottom of the first. Thompson to deal the 3-2. And Grimion went the throw down to first in time. And that'll end the inning. So one, two, three inning for Thompson as Grimion goes down swinging. And it'll be Gumbardo Pereira, 
Uncle Leo to lead it off for Clemson. is the right fielder, number 25, Marissa Gambardo. Back from Charlotte, top of the second. Both teams going down in order in the first. While Jasper getting her second inning at work. Hard liner down the left field line, but it's going to be foul off the bat of Marissa Gambardo. Right fielder wearing number 25. Barta so far on the season, a 174 average, four for 23 at the plate, three runs, one done, home run, and the eyes. Gambarda, Pereira, and Logaleo. While Jasper will look at the signs and deal the 0 1. Pitch high for a ball. So Clemson playing in Fort Myers, Florida. Had two shutouts, an 11-0 win over Florida Gulf Coast and an 8-0 win over Kent State. 1-1 one, one from Wall Jasper in there for a strike. And a 4-0 loss to then-ranked Texas. Now has six losses. An 8-0 win over Long Island, Univer or Long Island University. 1-2, a swing and a miss, and a big strikeout for Wall Jasper as Gombardo goes down swinging. And now Cami Pereira at the plate. And the Tigers head to Clearwater, the St. Pete Clearwater Elite Invitational, an 8 nothing wing over Texas Tech. Beat a ranked team in Tennessee, who's now in the 17th spot, a 4-3 win. 7 nothing loss to Northwestern, who was then ranked. And then a 2-1 loss to Wisconsin. Their last game coming over number five, Washington, a 2 0 win over the Huskies. So, a 6 and 3 record. A lot of good competition down in St. Pete in the Invitational. The 1 0 from Wall Jasper in there for a strike. Now, Cami Pereira at the plate, the second baseman wearing number 12. 292 here in her senior season. Seven hits, five runs, two doubles, one home run, and four RBIs. 1-1 one, one from Wall Jasper, bunted fair. Peyton on to first, but Frazier drops the ball. Should be an E4, a nice throw by Peyton. So first runner on the base pass so far on the day. Ashley Chastain coming out to talk to home plate umpire Ed Hall. Maybe talking over possible interference, but like a clean throw. Frey just having trouble holding on to it. So Pereira will reach on the error and send up Aaliyah Logaleo. Logaleo so far at the plate. A 250 average, six hits, one home run, seven RBIs. First pitch high, ball one. Rare on the base pass this year, 0 for 1 in stolen base attempts. Looks like they're going to call time. 
Brown ball off the glove of Wall Jasper. Thrown to first by Henderson. It's not in time. So I guess they did call in for interference. Didn't see that on my part. So we'll see if they scored a yeah, hit. It will be the first hit of the game. An infield single by Pereira. And now Aaliyah Logaleo in the box. The third baseman, number 16. That 250 average and 7 RBI on the year. First pitch outside. Ball one to Logaleo. Sophomore out of Nashville, Tennessee. The 287 career batting average. Hard liner to the left. Going to get over the head of Devereaux and off the wall. Pereira into third. Now second and third with one out here for the Tigers. One out double for Logaleo. And now Pereira at the plate. With two runners in scoring position. Pereira, a freshman, a 3.33 average. Only nine at bats so far in the year. Three hits, two runs, and one RBI. Freshman out of California. Takes the first one low for ball one. Niner infield playing in. Chancey and Grimmy on at the corners. from Wall Jasper. A swing and a miss for a 1-1 count. So a single and a double after Wall Jasper tired the first four Tigers she saw. Three ground outs in the first and then a strikeout Gombardo to begin this second inning. 1-1 from Wall Jasper. Be high now a 2-1 count. Wall Jasper's second season with the Niners came over from Nebraska University. The Niners receiving six transfers this season. A bolster the roster. 2 1 is popped up right to Wall Jasper. She'll make the play. Four out number two. So just what you want there if you're Wall Jasper in the Niner defense. Pop up keeping the runners at bay. And now two outs. And Madison May at the plate. May the first baseman wearing number 15. Four for 12 at the plate with two runs and three RBIs. While Jasper will deal. First pitch low, ball one. Well, Jasper, the team leader in wins last year for the 49ers with 15. 15 and 9 record, 14 complete games. 1 0 from Wall Jasper. In there for a strike. Now a 1 1 count. Be 4 5 6 due up for the Niners in the bottom half. 1-1 from Wall Jasper will be popped up. Henderson calls for it at short, and the Niners get out of the jam. So big two, or two big pop-ups for Wall Jasper. Field. One back to her, yeah, one to short. On so we'll be back here in Charlotte in just a couple minutes. We're watching Charlotte softball on ESPN+. Plus. Fans, after every home run hit by the Niners, be on the lookout for T-shirts.
off the second inning for the runners is the catcher, number 34, Stacy Payton. Bottom of the second at Sue M. Dodger Stadium, 4 5 6. Due up for the Niners and Peyton, Chancey, and Garrett. Peyton with a big home run the other day. The first pitch to Peyton in there for a strike. First season after coming over from the Ball State Cardinals. A 320 average here in her senior season. 25 at bats, 8 hits, 7 runs, 3 doubles, 1 home run, and 4 RBIs. Thompson to deal the 0 1 to Peyton. Be low for a ball. Charlie coming off an 11-2 victory over the Camel, the Campbell Camels. Put up seven runs in the bottom of the sixth. Put the eight-run rule in effect. One one from Thompson. And there for a strike, a one-two count. Peyton also leading the honors in walks this year with eight. But now in a one-two count. Clemson able to get two hits in the top half, but Wall Jasper getting in the jam with a pop-up back to herself and then a pop-up to short. One-two from Thompson. A swing and a miss as Peyton will go down swing. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Thompson. And now Ella Chancey at the plate. Chancey, a freshman here for the Niners with a 433 average, 13 hits, eight runs, two triples, two home runs, and eight RBIs. Freshman of Georgia off to a great start at the plate. Also great at the hot corner, starting in 10 games at third for the Niners. First pitch swinging hard, driving to center. He's going to get down for a leadoff single. So Chansey picking up where she left off over the weekend. And now Kaya Garrett at the plate. Garrett, a sophomore out of Johns Creek, Georgia. A 280 average, six runs, seven hits, one double, two home runs, and nine RBIs. Had the walk-off home run in the eight-run rule game against Clemson. A two-run home run into right center field. First pitch from Thompson to Garrett. Be high or in there for a strike. Garrett, the, Garrett's 11th star of the year. All at DP, the 0-1 hard line to the shorts going to get through. Now first and second here for the Niners and one out. And Lindsey Wall Jasper at the dish. Wall Jasper, a two-way player for the Niners starting in the circle today. Has made eight starts offensively. Three runs, six hits, two doubles, one home run, and five RBIs. Her last at bat was a pitch hit double down the left field line against Campbell. First pitch to Wall Jasper in there for a strike. A one count on Wall Jasper, one out. First and second for the Niners. Chancey at second. Garrett at first. Still scoreless, bottom of the second. Thompson will look for the signs and deal the 0-1. Fools Wall Jasper on the off speed pitch. Now an 0 2 count. O 2 to Wall Jasper will be popped up into left. Easy play for Russ. Chancey to stay at second. Now two outs for the Tigers. Lexi Wagner at the plate. Wagner's first season here with the Niners after transferring from Oregon. One of the six transfers the Niners have received this year, or had received this year. 207 average, six hits, six runs, four doubles, and two RBIs. Big spot here for the junior out of Pennsylvania. 
coach John Rittman coming out and talking to his outfield. Looks like we might have a had some trouble with the cards for the signs for the Tigers. Like the right fielder, Barda had to get a new sign. Maybe a visor having trouble with the sun as the sun setting here in Charlotte, about 5:30 Eastern Standard Time. And some shades here for the center fielder Clark. We'll just resume play after the stoppage. Two outs, bottom of the second, scoreless game. Wagner at the plate, first and second for the Niners. Thompson to deal. First pitch outside, ball one. Niners outscoring their opponents on their five game win streak, 36 to four, after a 16-1 loss to the Fighting Irish. Notre Dame, just a week and a half ago, the 1-0 from Thompson. Wagner pops it up. It'll be foul and out of play over the Clemson dugout. Thompson to look for the signs. Deal to 1 1 to Wagner. Off speed pitch in for a strike. Thompson one strike away. Getting out of her own jam here in the second inning. Just as Wall Jasper did in the top half. One two from Thompson. Outside ball two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Two on for Charlotte, and the pitch. Behind now a 3-2 count. Michaela Frazier, the nine hole hitter, waiting on deck. Payoff pitch coming from Thompson. In the dirt as Wagner will work a walk and load the bases for Michaela Frazier. So now a big spot for the second baseman, Frazier. 280 average on the year. Had the biggest bat for the Niners so far on the season, a two run home run against Alyssa Humphrey and the Dukes last weekend. Giving the Niners a 3 1 lead. Frazier's first season with the Niners. Transferring from Elon University. Has one home run, six RBIs, and one double. So big spot for Frazier with the bases loaded. Scoreless in the bottom of the second. Pitch from Thompson. Hard line to the third. Third baseman to throw into second in time. And that'll end the inning. So Thompson escapes the jam. The, the Tiger offense coming to the plate. Two hits, no errors, and three left on You're watching Charlotte and Clemson softball on ESPN+. Plus. Feeling my way through the darkness Guided by a beating heart I can't tell where the journey will end But I know where to start Tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Well life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes So that's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself in love
the third inning for Clemson is the shortstop, number 28, Matty Moore. Top half of the third here from Suem Dodger Stadium. Millie Thompson getting out of the jam in the bottom half of the second. The Niners had the bases loaded. And Frazier grounded out to end the inning. While Jasper with the first pitch in the dirt for a ball. It'll be 9-1-2 due up for the Tigers and Moore, Russ, and Clark. Moore, a shortstop wearing number 28. Freshman has made all nine starts this year with three hit or yeah, three hits and four runs. In there for a strike. Hailing from Loomis, California. Now a 2-1 count. Wall Jasper so far. Two innings, two hits, and one strikeout. Should be a great pitcher's duel between Wall Jasper and Thompson here in this midweek matchup. 2-1 from Wall Jasper. Below. More trying to work a walk. Filter backed up to the top of the order, and Sam Russ, who waits on deck. Moore does have two walks on the young season. 3-1 from Wall Jasper. And a line at a chancey at third, four out number one. Now the leadoff batter, Sam Russ, at the plate for the Tigers, grounded out to second. Back in the first inning to lead off the game. While Jasper did retire the first three Clemson Tigers she saw in the first inning. First pitch shows Bunt. You get a foul off for strike one. Four seasons with the Wolfpack of NC State. Second team all ACC in 2019. Ground ball to Grimion. Tags the bag. Four out number two. Quick two outs for Wall Jasper. Now the two hole hitter Mackenzie Clark. The the center fielder, number seven, Mackenzie Clark. Preseason all ACC selection at the plate with two away. Round it out back to Wall Jasper in the first, fly ball to right. Vinoy there, four out number three. And that'll end the inning. So a quick one, two, three inning for Wall Jasper. Niner bats coming to the plate. You're watching Charlotte and Clemson softball. Little girls like me and big kids like Conference USA student athletes. The opportunity to dream big. Scoreless tie between the Tigers and the Niners. No hits and two, or yeah, no runs and two hits for both teams so far on the day. It'll be one, two, three, due up for the Niners in the top of the order. Manoy to lead it off, grounded out to short. Back in the first, Thompson to deal. First pitch swing, pop up into right, but out of play into the bullpen. Niners coached by Ashley Chastain here in her third season, a 14 and 13 record in the 2020 shortened season and a 31 and 19 record last year. Their first conference tournament since 2017. Lost to Western Kentucky in the elimination game. But the Niners slayed to finish first in Conference USA this year. The Tigers slayed to finish second in the ACC be behind Florida State. 1-1 one -one coming from Thompson to Vinoy. She foul tips that one. Now a 1-2 count. So tough matchups here. Four to nine or so far in the season faced James Madison ranked 22nd. They'll take on Wichita State and Minnesota, receiving votes so far on the year this weekend. 1-2 from Thompson. Fouled off by Vinoy. And then next weekend, take on Virginia Tech, who's ranked 7th nationally. And then the Duke Blue Devils are now in the 20 spot in the national rankings. A lot of good competition for the night before heading into conference play. Taking on a lot of ACC opponents. 1-2 coming from Thompson. Ground ball to third. 
Rolling to first in time, four out number one. Only has reached in 11 straight games, all 11 games. 5-3 put out to begin the bottom of the third. Now Corey Henderson at the plate. Flew out to right in her first plate appearance. Still well north of 400 with a 429 average. First pitch to Henderson. Round ball to first. Tag the bag, four out number two. Two ground outs for Thompson. And now Courtney Grimion at the plate. That'll bring up the first baseman for the Niners, number 44, Courtney Grimion. Grimion struck out back in the first. Ball in the dirt. Thompson to look for the signs and deal. Grimion shows Bunt can't pull back strike one. Grimion's second season with the Niners. Transferred from Louisiana. A one from Thompson. Outside, 1-1 one, one count. I stayed earlier, great crowd on hand. Full capacity and more here at Suham Dodge Stadium for this midweek matchup. 1-1 one, one to Grimion in the dirt, two balls and one strike. Grimion a preseason selection for the Conference USA first team. 2-1 to Grimion, low again, three balls and one strike. Six walks on the year for Grimion, second behind Peyton. One from Thompson. And there for a strike. Thompson worked the count full. So three balls, two strikes, two outs. Still scoreless. Bottom of the third. Thompson to deal the payoff pitch. The low. Grimion works a two out walk. Now Stacy Payton out the plate with two away. Struck out back in the second. And time called here. Michaela Mitchell coming into pitch run for Courtney Grimion at first base. One of the six transfers the Niners received in the fall. Transferring from UAB. And next up to the plate for Charlotte is the catcher, number 34, Stacy Payton. Four for four in stolen base attempts. And has scored four runs on the young season. Now Payton at the plate. Thompson a deal. First pitch off speed low for ball one. Thompson had to work out of a bases loaded jam. Back last inning in the second. Frazier grounding out into the fielder's choice to end the inning. one from Thompson. Hard liner to third. Throw on to second in time, and that'll end the inning. So nothing doing here for the Niners after the two-out walk from Grimion. It'll be 3-4-5, due up for the Tigers. Coming up in the fourth on ESPN Plus. After the bottom of the third, the Niners get no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on base.
Hey Niner fans, would you like for your kid to be a guest PA announcer? Every Saturday we will pick one young fan to give them the opportunity of a lifetime. Kids will be able to take over our PA's job for the entire fourth inning. Please be sure to visit the marketing table located behind the home dugout for more information. Leading off the top of the court for Clemson is the designated player, number 70. Valerie Cagle to lead it off for the Tigers. 3 4 5 due up. Pitch from Wall Jasper. Outside ball one Cagle. The freshman of the year in the ACC last year. First ever player to be named player of the year as a freshman in the Atlantic Coast Conference. 1 0 from Wall Jasper. Fouled off. Cagle a two way player. Some say the best two-way player in the country. But starting at DP today, a 333 average, 10 hits, and 30 at-bats with 10 RBIs and five runs. Has went deep three times as well. John Rittman, also the 2021 ACC Coach of the Year last year. 1-1 from Wall Jasper, fouled off. Now a 1-2 count. Great pitching duel so far from Thompson and Wall Jasper through three. No runs and two hits for both teams so far on the afternoon. One two from Wall Jasper outside for a ball. Jasper look at the signs and deal the 2-2. Ground ball to third off the glove of Chansey. Will likely be scored an error on the third base and that ball was smoked off the end of the bat by Cagle. It will be the third hit of the day for the Tigers. So Cagle now one for two on the afternoon. Marissa Gambarda at the plate. Struck out in her last plate appearance. Very rare to see Chansey have trouble with one of the hot corner, but off the end of a lefty bat. Tough play for the third baseman. Maybe took a tough hop. He did hop and hit her in the left arm, which looks to be okay. 1-0 from Wall Jasper. He popped up and out of play. Niners hosting the Niner Invitational this weekend. Take on number 25 ranked Wichita State as well as Minnesota who's received top 25 votes. 1-1. One, one. High drive to left and no doubt about that one for Gambarda as she goes deep for a two-run shot and gives the Tigers a 2-0 lead. One of the highest balls I've seen hit here at Sue M. Daughtry Stadium. Tigers strike first here in the top of the fourth. Barta's second home run of the year. Now that is the second baseman, number 12. Now Cammy Pereira at the plate. Singled in the fifth inning. Jasper deals. First pitch outside, ball one. Niners also taking on Northern Iowa this weekend. And then that tough midweek matchup next Wednesday against the Hokies of Virginia Tech. And therefore, a strike, a 1 1 count. Now, two runs on four hits for the Tigers. No runs on two hits for the 49ers. Jasper to deal the 1-1. Right and now two balls and one strike. Ball 
Jasper hasn't given up more than a run since the season opener, giving up four runs against Virginia. 2-1 sliced foul. Virginia picked. And finished ninth in the ACC, a 10-7 victory for the Niners in the season opener. Came in a relief and went one inning with two strikeouts, picking up the win against Boston University. And a complete game. Extra inning walk off, nine innings, four hits, one earned run, and nine strikeouts against the Terriers again. And just last Wednesday, seven innings, eight hits, one earned run, three walks, and four strikeouts in a win against the Gamecocks. 3 2 count now on Pereira. Still not away after the two run home run from Combarda. Two from Wall Jasper popped up into deep center. Wagner has to go back on the track. It's going to be off the wall. It's going to be a double here for Pereira. Now three straight hits for the Tigers. Single by Cagle to third. Nice chance he had trouble with the play on that one. And then a two run home run from Gombarda. And now a double by Pereira. Logaleo now at the plate for the Tigers. Now batting against the third baseman for the Tigers, number 16, Aaliyah Logaleo. Double on her last plate appearance in the second inning. Ball Jasper to deal. Outside ball one. After the conclusion of this game, Clemson takes on the Boston University Terriers. Their first home game of the season. They try two balls and no strikes. And take on St. Francis and Akron this weekend. Duo from Wall Jasper. Outside now, three balls and no strikes. Three oh from Wall Jasper. Round down the left field line. It'll be a fair ball. Pereira's going to score. Sliding in the second. Logaleo. It's now a 3-0 game here in the top of the fourth. Time called here by Ashley Chastain going out to the circle to talk to Wall Jasper. Now a runner at second. Logaleo after the RBI double. Three runs here in this top of the fourth for the Tigers. Now three runs on six hits. A two run home run. And an RBI double. Off the bat of Logaleo. Now Abby Verrera. In the box for the Tigers. Staying back to the dugout. And having a word with Wall Jasper. Resume play here at Suem Dodger Stadium. Wall Jasper to deal. First pitch swinging and foul and out of play. As somebody's windshield. Our back windshield is shattered here. A little we'll zoom play on the field. The 0-1 pitch. Hard line to the second. Nice play by Frazier. So hard line out off the bat of Herrera. Now batting is the first base. Now Madison May at the plate. The first baseman popped up to short. A 
last plate appearance as Wall Jasper got out of the jam in the second. First pitch at the knees, ball one. Tigers had second and third back in the second inning and a pop up back to Wall Jasper and a pop up to short end of the inning. Tigers do have a runner on second with one away. Pitch from Wall Jasper high for a ball. Two a pitch from Wall Jasper. Well, again, now three balls and no strikes. from Wall Jasper in there for a strike. Trying to work back the count in her favor. Three one pitch at the knees for strike two. They thought differently. Attempting to walk down the first base line but Hall calling it a strike and now a full count. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Three nothing lead for the Tigers and a runner on second. Hard line on the right. Vinoy's gonna have to retreat all the way back to the wall as the run's gonna easily score. And it's now four nothing after the RBI double off the bat of Madison May. The Tiger offense coming alive here in this top half of the fourth. Galeo coming around to score. And we're going to have a pitch hitter here for the Tigers. Hannah Goodwin, the freshman, going to pitch hit here in the place of Maddie Moore. We'll have a pitch runner at second base as well, Ansley Houston. The Georgia native pitch running at second. And a pitching change here for the Niners will be Amelia Weirchuk taking over in the circle. Weirchuk coming off a great performance against the Clemson, or against the Campbell Camels last week. So far on the season, a 0 0.78 ERA. It'll be her fourth appearance, 18 innings, 10 hits, two earned runs, one walk, and 10 strikeouts so far on the year. First season with the Niners coming over from Duke University. And now pitching for the Niners is number 16, Amelia Wucha. First start of the year, seven innings, four hits, one earned run, and two strikeouts. It came in relief against Notre Dame. Four innings, five hits, only one earned run and one strikeout. And then against Campbell on Saturday evening, a seven inning, one hit, seven strikeout performance. So pitching change now for the Niners. Wall Jasper, three and a third inning, seven hits, four and runs, and one strikeout. Responsible for the runner on second base as Weirchuk takes over and deals. First pitch outside, ball one. Pitch to Goodwin, fouled off for a strike. Goodwin's first plate appearance of the year. 1-1. One, one. In there for strike two. Yeah. 
One ball, two strikes, one away. Runner on second in Houston. And fouled off as Goodwin stays alive at the plate. One, two from Weirchuk. Be popped up. An easy play there for Frazier at second, four out number two. Long inning here for the Niner defense. Next up for Clemson is the Started left with the Kegel. Hit down the third base line, the chance he had trouble with. And then a two run home run from Gombarda. Double from Pereira, double from Logaleo. Line out from Vieira, and then a d RBI double off the bat of Madison May. Now two outs for the Niners after the pop-up. And the top of the order, and Sam Russ at the plate. 1-0 from Weirchuk, be popped up. What a play at third by Ella Chansey. Reached over the third base fence and made the play. 4-0 lead for the Tigers. We head to the bottom of the fourth. You're watching softball on ESPN+. Plus. Bottom of the fourth from Sue M. Daughter Stadium. Great play by Ella Chansey, who is at the play now. Reaching over the fence over here near the third base dugout and making the play for the third out. Clemson adding, or putting up four runs in the top half of the fourth. Four runs on seven hits for the Tigers. No runs on two hits for the Niners. Couple doubles and a two run home run. Pitch. In there for a strike to Chansey. Second plate appearance of the day. Singled back in the second inning. Hard to rock it up the middle. Thompson beginning her fourth inning of work. Deals the 1-1 one -one to Chansey. Be popped up to left. As Russell make the play in foul territory. Four out number one. Now Kaya Garrett at the plate for the Niners. Singled in the second inning. Her and Chansey, the only two Niners. With hits on the day. Kaya reaching on a walk. Now Garrett at the plate. 308 average. As Thompson will deal. First pitch in there for a strike. Thompson so far in the day, three and a thirds inning. Two hits, two walks, and two punch outs. Still has yet to allow a run on the season in 14 innings. A one to Garrett. Hard shot at a third. It'll be a foul ball. It'll be an easy throw for Logaleo. Made the play on it. O2 
two from Thompson. Fools Garrett for strike three. She'll go down looking. Now, now Amelia Weirchuk at the plate. Took over in the circle. Now batting in the spot of Lindsey Wall Jasper. Lefty on lefty matchup. Pitch from Thompson. Outside ball one. Weirchuk so far in the year. Two hits and six at bats. Two runs and three RBIs. Thompson to deal the 1-0 pitch. He's going to get down for a single in the center. So Weirchuk gets on with two away. Now Lexi Wagner at the plate. Wagner walked in her last plate appearance, loading the bases for Frazier. Now batting is the then grounded out in the bottom of the second Wagner. as Thompson got out of the bases loaded jam. Wagner, one for two on the day, first pitch for a ball. A pitch from Thompson. Wagner wanted to go, but in there for a strike. Tigers defensively. Vieira behind the plate. Ugaleo at third. Moore at short. Pereira at second. May at first. Russ Clark. Lombardo in the outfield. Pitch outside. Now two balls and one strike to the junior out of Pennsylvania. Has started in all 12 games now in center field. 2-1 to Wagner, high. And she works the count. Michaela Frazier do up. Go for one of the day in the on-deck circle. It's 3-1 to Wagner. In there for a strike at the knees. On an off-speed pitches here from Thompson. Payoff pitch from Thompson in the dirt. Wagner works another walk. Now two walks on the day. That'll send up Michaela Frazier. Round out to a fielder's choice in her last plate appearance. Time called here by the Tigers. Meeting in the circle between the catcher and Thompson. Try and figure out how to get out of this one now. First and second for the Niners. Weirchuk at second. And Wagner at first. Niners two for seven so far on the day with runners in scoring now position. For throw, is the second baseman, number 33, Michaela Frazier. And 0 for four with two outs. Frazier to dig in, first and second. And stops in the deal. Pitch low, ball one. Frazier can get on. Top of the order due up in Bailey Vinoy. one -oh from Thompson. And there for a strike. One ball, one strike, two away. Weirchuk at second. Wagner at first. Frazier at the plate. Hard liner from Frazier into right center. He's going to get over the head of the center fielder. Weirchuk's going to score. Wagner come around third as well. And Niners are to cut this one to a two-run game after the two-run double from Michaela Frazier. Big at bat for Frazier. Scoring two runs, and now Bailey Vinoy at the plate, representing the tying run here in this bottom of the fourth. Time called by Rittman and the coaching staff. So 
Looks like we're going to have a pitching change. That'll be it for Thompson. Thompson giving up her first runs in the circle. Three and two thirds on the afternoon. Four hits, two and runs, three walks, and three strikeouts. Looks like it's going to be Brooke McCubbin to take over for the Tigers. 1.57 ERA on the year, one and one. 13 to third inning and six strikeouts. Coming a freshman. Pitch five and a third innings versus Northwestern. And was the 2020 Georgia Softball Player of the Year in high school, as well as the 2019 Georgia State Pitcher of the Year. It's a great high school resume for McCubbin as she takes over in a two-run game in Charlotte. Freshman out of Locust Grove. Will be Vinoy in the box. Frazier at second. A 4-2 ball game at Suem Dodger Stadium. Now batting for the Niners is the right fielder, number one. Ooh, now Bailey Vinoy in the box for the Niners. Just who the Niners could want at the plate. First pitch swing, lines it into left. Clark there, four out number three. And the Niners do cut the deficit to two. They put up two runs after the two run double to center by Michaela Frazier. We head to the fifth in Charlotte. Your score after four innings is Clemson four, Charlotte two. Students at the Green Out Wednesday. Students showing their 49er pride will be eligible to win a shopping spree at Barnes & Noble. We have picked one lucky winner today, so be sure to wear green every Wednesday for free on our gear. You got a dream, I have a family, a house and everything in between And then uh, suddenly, it's in 23 And now we got the show for taking my life more seriously We got a dead end jobs and got bills to pay Have old friends and our enemies, you know I'm looking back to when I was young I did the day when I was falling in love He used to meet me on the east side In the city where the sun goes Leading up the fifth inning for the Tigers Is the center fielder, number seven, Mackenzie Clark Top half of the fifth from Suem Dautron Stadium. Tough part of the order for Weirchuk as she deals to Clark. First pitch in the four strike. It'll be 2 3 4 due up in Clark, Cagle, and Gambarda. Cagle getting the offense rolling in the fourth with a leadoff single. Weirchuk. A 4-2 game, the 0-1 outside, ball one. Weirchuk taking over for Wall Jasper. Back last inning. One-one, grounded foul towards the third base dugout. Weirchuk to deal the 1-2. A swing and a miss. Big strikeout to begin this fifth by Weirchuk. As Clark will go down swinging. Now Valerie Cagle at the plate. Cagle grounded out in the first, but singled back in the fourth and came around to score on the Gumbarda two-run home run to left field. It's a tough matchup for Weirchuk. First pitch from Weirchuk. 
Outside ball one. First team all ACC selection after play of the year last year, the 1 0 to Kegel High. Now two balls and no strikes. Kegel in the three hole. So three, four, and five do up for the Tigers. Two zero from Weirchuk, sliced foul. Four runs on seven hits for the Tigers. Two runs on four hits for the 49ers. All runs coming. Just last inning in the fourth. 2-1 coming from Weirchuk. In there for a strike as Kegel will take that one looking. Two two from Weirchuk. High now a three two count. Payoff pitch from Weirchuk. Grounded and fouled. Kegel a five foot nine sophomore from Yorktown, Virginia. Was homeschooled in high school, a career 388 hitter, 108 hits, 91 RBIs, and 74 runs. 3 2 from Weirchuk once again, sliced into left. Darrell keep it in front of her for a one out single. Now Kegel 2 for 3 on the evening, just after 6 o'clock. Here Eastern Standard Time. And now Gambarda to the plate. A two-run home run to left. That just about touched the sun on that one. It was a very high hit to left. So Gambarda now in the box. First pitch, ground ball to third, but could be foul. They call by the home plate umpire. Bart also struck out in the second, so one for two. Afternoon for the right fielder. Graduate student out of Georgia. Pops that one up. No play for Peyton behind the plate and out of play. No balls, two strikes, one out for Weirchuk. Barter at the plate and the pitch. Outside for ball one. Very tight, very tight strike zone for Ed Hall. Weirchuk deals the one, two. Hard liner to center. Wagner to keep it in front of her. Kegel to stay at second. So back to back, one out singles from Kegel and Gambarda. And now Pereira at the plate. Time called, gonna have a pitch runner at first. Looks like Ariel Oda, the pitch runner at first. Joining first base for the Tigers, now first and Ariel second Oda. for the Tigers with one away. After the single, nine hits for the Tigers and four runs. Career at the plate. Now stepping in is the second baseman for Clemson, number 12. Two for two on the day, a single in the second and a double in the fourth. Came around to score in the Logaleo RBI double. Pitch from Weirchuk. Ground ball to short. It's going to get through. Going to wave around Kegel, but then hold her at third. Throw to Peyton. Blocked, and now the bases are loaded. So 
Three straight singles after the strikeout from Clark. That began the fifth. The Aaliyah Logaleo now at the plate with the bases loaded. An RBI double back in the fourth. Also a double in the second. Bases loaded for the Tigers, one out. We're Chuck the deal. First pitch swing fouled off. Cagle at third. Oda at second. Prayer at first. Logaleo swings and misses at that one. Big strike, now an 0-2 count. We're chucked to look at the signs and deal the 0-2. Be high now, 1-2 count. Big spot for the Niners to try and get out of this jam. Tigers in prime position to break this thing open with one swing of the bat. 4-2 game, top of the fifth. Weir Chuck to look at the signs and deal. A swing and a miss, a big strikeout for Weir Chuck on the ball on the dirt. Now Abby Vieira at the plate. Stepping in for the Tigers, the catcher number four, Abby Vieira. Vieira lined out to Frazier in her last plate appearance, popped up to Wall Jasper in the second. Niners one away from getting out of the bases low to jam. The pitch from Weirchuk, low, ball one. Chuck to deal the 1 0. Hard liner to short. Nice play by Henderson on the sinking liner as that'll end the inning. Big out for Weird Chuck. Leaves the bases loaded. You're watching Clemson and Charlotte softball on ESPN. Plus. After the top of the fifth, the Tigers get no runs on three hits, no errors, and they leave three on base. Bottom half of the fifth from Charlotte, North Carolina. 4-2 game, Tigers with a 4-2 lead. Niners able to get out of the base loaded jam in the top half of the fifth. First pitch here to Henderson, rounded a short. Throw on to first in time. Four out number one. Bang bang play to lead off the bottom of the fifth. And Courtney Grimion at the plate for the Niners. Four runs on ten hits for the Tigers. Two runs on four hits for the 49ers. Brooke McCubbin 
in the circle for the Tigers in relief of the starter Millie Thompson. Grimion takes the first pitch outside for a ball. The Grimion and Peyton do up for the Niners, the heart of the order. 1 0 to Grimion. Outside for a ball. Grimion with a strikeout in the first. As well as a walk in the third. 2 0 to Grimion inside. Working the count here with one out. Stacy Payton on the on deck, on deck circle, representing the tying run. 3 0 to Grimion. High as she'll work, a four pitch walk. And now Stacy Payton at the plate. Next up is the catcher for the Niners, number 34, Stacy Payton. Payton now at the dish, struck out in the second, into a fielder's choice in the third. Definitely her biggest at bat of the season. First pitch to Payton. High ball one. Peyton also patient at the plate, leading the team with eight walks on the year. Big spot for the freshman, Mick Cubbin. Deals the 1 0. Outside, six straight balls here to a niner batter. Bring on getting on in a four pitch walk. Now a 2 0 count to Peyton. Tigers do have one away in a 4-2 game. Two zero from McCubbin in there for a strike. Peyton a two-run home run against Campbell this weekend. Only one home run on the year. Lots of power from the Ball State transfer. In there for a strike. Back-to-back -back strikes looking. Cubbin now evens the count at two, two balls and two strikes. Activity in the Clemson bullpen as well. Looks to be Kegel warming up. 2-2 two, two to Peyton Hard. Chopper down the third baseline, but foul. If you're the Niners, this is the spot. Only get some runs across before they give Cable, Cagle an opportunity to get into the ball game. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Runner on first and Grimion. Chopper from Peyton Fowl. Two coming once again to Peyton. That's been coming to look at the signs. The pitch to Peyton. High now a 3-2 count. Freshman Ella Chancy waiting on deck. Two to Peyton. Line to second on to second. Back to first, not in time. So they'll get the lead runner and Grimion at second on the fielder's choice. And now Ella Chancy at the plate. Chancy one for two, a single in the second. And a fly out in the fourth. Chancy does have two home runs on the year, along with eight RBIs and a 438 average. Big spot for the freshman out of Georgia. Come to look at the signs and deal to Chansey in the dirt. Peyton's going to take off for second and get in there safely. And slot, uh, get into third as well as the ball got away from the second baseman trying to cover the bag. Now a runner on third. So great hustle play from Stacy Peyton. Ball in the dirt at the plate. Took off for second. Throw down wasn't in time, knocked off a glove, and hustled away into third. Ch 
Nancy at the plate, one ball, no strikes, two outs, representing the tying run. And coming to deal, Shanty pops it up, but will be foul over the Tiger dugout. One one count on Chansey. Pitch from McCubbin. He popped up. High ball to short. Shortstop Moore will make the play and that'll end the inning. So nothing doing here for the Niners. We head to the sixth, 4-2 lead for the Tigers. You're watching ESPN Plus Softball. After the bottom of the pin, the Niners get no runs on no hits. One error and one left on base. Be sure to sign your kids up today for the Junior 49er Club, the official youth fan club of Charlotte 49ers Athletics. For only $15, you will receive admission to select sports including baseball, 49er gear, and special invitations to events. Visit charlotte49ers.com to find out more about the Junior 49ers Club. Top half of the sixth from Sue M. Daughtridge Stadium. Still a 4-2 lead for the Tigers. Four runs in the top of the fourth. Charlotte did add two in the bottom of the fourth after the two-run double from Michaela Frazier. But scoreless in the fifth. We're Chuck still in the circle. That'll be 8-9-1 due up for the Tigers. Ground ball off the glove of Weir Chuck. Chansey is throwing to first in time. Great play by the third baseman Chansey. Reacting to the ball off the glove of Weir Chuck. And one away. Here to start the sixth. Next up is shortstop number 28, Matty Moore. Matty Moore now in the box. Let's pitch hit in their last at bat. Pitch from Weirchuk in there for a strike. Lined out to third back in the third inning. One from Weirchuk, a swing and a miss, four strike two. Moore with three hits and 15 at bats so far in the year, for one on the day. No balls and two strikes, one away, the pitch from Weirchuk. The high ball one. Moore, a freshman from Loomis, California. Starting in every game on the year. Weir Chuck to look at the signs. Deal to one, two. Just outside, ball two. Still a great crowd on hand. Full capacity and more at Sue M. Daughter Stadium. Two, two. Just low, ball three. So a full count on Moore, the shortstop. And the one away. 3-2 from Weirchuk. Center. Wagner will knock it down as Vinoy throws on the second, not in time. Looked like Wagner slipped in the outfield. Vinoy to back her up, slipped as well. So Moore into second with one away. And 
the top of the order, and Sam Russ at the plate. Another double for the Tigers, their 11th hit of the day. Weird Chuck to deal to Russ. First pitch low, ball one, Russ so far. 0 for 3 on the day. Transferring over from the North Carolina State Wolfpack. One zero from Weirchuk, outside ball two. Big spot for the Niners to try and get out of the jam. Only down two runs. Two zero from Weirchuk, in there for a strike at the knees. Two one from Weirchuk outside. Mackenzie Clark waiting on deck. 0 for three day. But Cagle in the hole. Clemson looking to add to their 4 2 lead. 3 1 from Weirchuk. Russell work a walker. First time on base this evening. And now Clark at the plate. The center fielder, number seven, Mackenzie Clark. Ground out in the first, fly out in the third. And a strike out in the fifth. First pitch from Weirchuk, grounded foul. Clark leading off the fifth with a strikeout. And the Tigers got three singles. And then a strikeout and a lineout to end the inning. Cagle waiting on deck. 0-1 from Weirchuk. Ground ball off her shoe. Uh, It'll be called time as she fouled it off her shoe, it looked like. I don't know, two count on Clark. Preseason all ACC selection. Was a member of the 2021 all ACC team. Here in her sophomore season out of Florida. O2 from Weirchuk. Outside, ball one. One, two from Weirchuk. Popped up and out of play. Over the stands. Charlotte's tough of the. Toughest opponent so far this year. And he knocked out 22nd ranked James Madison. 1-2 to Clark. A swing and a miss and a big strikeout from Weirchuk. Weirchuk with the gas on that one. And now Cagle at the plate. Next up the designated player, number 72, Valerie Cagle. Cagle now at the plate. Runner on second. Niner defense straight away. First pitch from Weirchuk. Outside ball one. Kago with a two for three afternoon and ground out in the first. And singles in the fourth and the fifth. Ground ball to third, tough play for Chansey on to first. And a throw not in time as it was a chopper. So infield single for Cagle, three straight singles to her credit. Now 12 hits for the Tigers. Beacon Barda at the plate, a two run home run. Back in the fourth inning. The Tigers the lead. Now the bases are loaded. Weirchuk to deal. First pitch in the dirt. Nice block by Peyton. And it's going to hit 
Gumbarda. Another run's going to score. Well, now a 5-2 lead. It's tough to see from my vantage point, but first pitch good to hit her. Now five runs on, 12 hits for the Tigers. Ashley Chastain talking to home plate umpire Ed Hall. Moore coming across to score. Now Cami Pereira at the plate. Base is still loaded. Russ at third, Cagle at second, Gabarda at first. Pereira three for three afternoon, a single in the second, a double in the fourth, as well as a single in the fifth. Big spot for Weirdchuck and the Niners to try and get out of the jam. Keep this thing at a three-run game heading into the bottom of the sixth. First pitch from Weirchuk. Round ball to second. Frazier flips to second to Henderson. And that'll end the inning. So one run across. Niners escape the bases loaded jam. We head to the bottom of the sixth. You're watching Charlotte. To the top of the six, the Clemson on ESPN one Plus. Two hits, no errors, and they lead three on base. Bottom of the sixth here from Charlotte. Valerie Cagle to take over for the Tigers in the circle. And Kaya Garrett to lead it off for the Niners will be Garrett. Weirchuk and Wagner do up, but a tough opponent in Cagle, the two-way player for the Tigers. Playing DP earlier today. First pitch here to Garrett. Hard liner to right. Right to the right fielder. Four out number one. Now Amelia Weirchuk. At the box for the Niners. Cagle, the player in fresh in the year last year. Now Weirchuk at the plate. First pitch, ball one. Cagle on the year in the circle, a 4 and 2 record, 1.93 ERA, 29 innings, 40 strikeouts. 1-0 from Cagle, a swing and a miss, four strike one. Cagle with a 1.16 ERA and 267 strikeouts. Last season in 216 innings. Also had two complete game no hitters. And a 6-0 and 9-0 win over their opponents. 1-1 from Cagle. Good there for a ball. 2-1 count. Two balls, one strike, one out. 2-1 to Weirchuk. A swing and a miss, four strike two.
5-2 lead for the Tigers. Five runs on 12 hits. Two runs on four hits for the Niners. 2-2 two -two from Cagle. Outside for a ball. Three two pitch from Cagle. Say Wall Jasper didn't go as she'll work a walk. A little base runner for the Niners here in this bottom of the sixth. Now Lexi Wagner at the plate with one away. Tigers putting up four in the fourth. A couple doubles and a two run home run from Gombarda. Two runs in the fourth for the Niners. Two run double from Frazier. First pitch in the dirt, ball one. And an insurance run in the top of the six. The base is loaded. Hit by pitch. Scoring a run. Now a 5 2 game. Weirchuk on first. Wagner at the plate. Kegel to deal the 1 0. Hard chopper to third. It's going to get past the glove of the third baseman. Weirchuk to stay at second. Frazier at first. Tying run coming to the plate. And Michaela Frazier. Tough play for Logaleo at third. And now Michaela Frazier at the plate, representing the tying run here in the bottom of the sixth. Stepping into the box now for Charlotte is the second. One out for the Niners. Weirchuk at second. Wagner at first. Frazier with a two run home run off Alyssa Humphrey of JMU just this past weekend. Kegel to deal. First pitch high off the glove of the catcher. Runners in the second and third now. The Niners in business now, second and third. Only one away, only the bottom of the sixth. They trail 5-2. 1-0 to Frazier, in there for a strike. One one to Frazier, hard chopper to third, throw on to first in time. Four out number two. But here's the matchup you want to see: Bailey Vinoy and Valerie Cagle. The best players in the country at the plate, the best pitchers in the circle in Cagle. Fog starting to take over the field here at Suem Dodger Stadium. Time call. Taylor White talking to Bailey Vinoy. And Vinoy at the plate. Vinoy representing the tying run. Cagle in the circle. Now back for Charlotte is the right fielder, number one, two, for Vinoy number 0 for one. 3 on the day. Weirchuk at third. Wagner at second. Vinoy at the plate. First pitch in there for a strike. Very foggy here at Suam Dotridge Stadium. Fog rolling in on this Wednesday evening. 0-1 to Vinoy in the dirt. Blocked by the catcher. Vieira to keep Weirchuk at third. One from Cagle, a swing and a miss from Vinoy. Now one, two count, one ball, two strikes, two outs. We're check at third, Wagner at second. Five, two lead for the Tigers. Cagle deals the one, two, Vinoy swings and misses. And that'll end in and Cagle will get out of the jam. We head to the seventh here in Charlotte, Clemson up five, two. You're watching Charlotte, Clemson softball on ESPN Plus. Charlotte 
baseball opens their season at Hayes Stadium this Friday, February 25th, as they host the West Virginia Mountaineers at 4 p.m. There will be free beanies for the first 150 fans, so be sure to get there early and get your tickets at charlotte49ers.com. And as always, student tickets are free. Seven for the Tigers, the third baseman, number 16, Alia Logaleo. Top of the seventh from Sue M. Daughters Stadium. Niners threatening with second and third in Vinoy at the plate, but Kegel able to settle, set her down on strikes. First pitch outside, ball one. Logaleo to lead it off, six, seven, eight, due up. For the Tigers, a 5-2 game. Five runs on 12 hits for the Tigers. Two runs on five hits for the Niners. We're Chuck to deal the 1-0. Hard line to right. Easy play for Vinoy. Four out number one. We're Chuck in relief. Two and two-thirds innings. Five hits, one earned run, one walk, the catcher, number four, and three strikeouts. Or three innings now. Three innings, five hits, one earned run, one walk, and three strikeouts. Right now at a one. In relief of Lindsey Wall, Jasper the starter. Abby Vieira now at the plate. First pitch swing, hard liner down the third base line, but foul. Vieira a pop up in the second, a line out in the fourth, and a line out in the fifth. Looking for her first hit of the evening. Now about 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I guess midweek. A fair, the 0-1, grounded to the third, going to get past the glove of Chansey at third. Coming to second, throwing to second, not in time. And a double here for Vieira, her first hit of the day. Another double for the Tigers. One for four evening. It's going to be a pitch hitter for the Tigers. Maybe re-entering Madison May. And turning at second base for the Tigers, number six, Carly Shannon. Be a pitch runner at and second. And is the first baseman, number 15, Madison May. Harley Shannon pitch running for the Tigers at second base. We're Chuck to look at the signs and deal to May. Outside four ball, one for three on the day. Pop up in the second, RBI double in the fourth, and a ground out in the sixth inning. We're Chuck to look at the signs. And deal the 1 0. Off speed outside for a ball. Rear Chuck to deal the 2 0. Ground ball, hard chopper to short. Henderson looks to run it back to second. Throw on time to first. Throw on to third is not in time. Almost got the double play as Henderson. Check the runner back to second. Throw on to first. Runner taking off for third. Shannon sliding in safely. But now two away for the Niners. Shortstop number 28, Maddie Moore. Maddie Moore at the plate. For the Tigers looking for some insurance with a runner on third. 
First pitch low, ball one. More on line out in the third. Pop up in the fourth and a double in the sixth. 13 hits for the Tigers. And five runs to show for it. Hard chopper short. Henderson on to first and that'll in the inning. So nothing doing here for the Tigers. They get a run in the third. Charlotte to try and walk it off in the bottom of the seventh. They trail 5-2. Watching Charlotte and Clemson on ESPN+. Plus. Tigers get no runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. is the shortstop, number four, Corey Henderson. Bottom of the seventh from Charlotte, North Carolina. Valerie Cagle to try and finish it out for the Tigers. 2-3-4, due up for the 49ers, and Henderson, Grimion, and Peyton. First pitch from Cagle. Outside, ball one to Henderson. Niners threatened with second and third. Vinoy striking out, last inning in the sixth. Niners have some work to do, trailing 5-2. Cagle to deal the 1-0, below ball two. Henderson so far on the day, 0 for three. Coming in with a five game hit streak. Adding 4.05 on the young season with 15 hits. Nine RBIs and three long balls. 2-0 from Cagle in there for a strike. Now a 2-1 count. Four runs in the top of the fourth for the Tigers. Charlotte adding two. Michaela Frazier, two-run double in the bottom of the fourth. And then a run the top of the sixth after the hit by pitch with the bases loaded. Tigers up 5-2. 2-1 from Cagle. Sliced into shallow right. Right fielder will make the play. Gombardo, four out, number one. Now down to Grimion and Peyton. Now batting is the first baseman for the Niners, number 44, Courtney Grimion. Courtney Grimion at the plate. Two walks and a strikeout. Cagle deals, ground ball to third, throw on to first, in time, four out number two. And last chat, chance for the Niners is Stacy Payton. Now batting is the catcher number 34, Stacy Payton. Ball Jasper starting the game for the Niners, three and a third inning, seven hits, four and runs, and one strikeout, we're Chuck. Great relief, three and two thirds inning, six hits, one on run, and three strikeouts. Peyton takes that one high, ball one. Billy Thompson, the starter for the Tigers, three and two thirds innings, four hits, two on runs, three walks, and three strikeouts. Brooke McCubbin came in relief, and now Cagle to try and finish it out. 1 0 chopper, foul, now 1 1 count. Niners back in action this weekend. The Niner Invitational take on Wichita State, Minnesota, and Northern Iowa. And another midweek matchup next Wednesday against the number eight ranked Virginia Tech Hokies. 
One one from Cagle. High now a two one count. One pitch to Peyton in the dirt. Now a 3-1 count. Peyton leading the Niners with eight walks. Going to get on here. Now a chance he waiting on deck. The tying run is in the hole. In Kaya Garrett. If the Niners can get there. 3-1 to Peyton. Shopper foul. Third base side. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, 5-2 lead for the Tigers here in the bottom of the seventh. Cagle to look for the signs and deal the 3-2. Peyton fouls it off and stays alive. Five runs on 13 hits for the Tigers. Two runs on five hits for the 49ers. Three, two, once again from Cagle. Ground ball third down the third base. The ground ball foul down the third baseline. Peyton stays alive after back-to-back -back foul balls. Three, two, once again from Cagle. Chopper third base line foul once again. Three straight foul balls off the bat of Peyton. Payoff pitch from Cagle. High as Peyton works a walk. Life here for the Niners in the bottom half of the seventh. Now Ella Chancey at the plate. One for three on the evening. And it's going to be a pitch runner for Peyton. Will be Amani Rochelle, the senior out of Wake Forest, North Carolina. Pitch running at first. Now Ella Chancey at the plate. A tying run in Kaya Garrett in the on-deck circle. If Chancey can get on. Chancey to dig in with two outs, runner on first, 5-2 game. First pitch swinging, lines it into right field. Rochelle into second, first and second for the Niners. The tying run at the plate in Kaya Garrett. Garrett now at the plate for the Niners. Rochelle on second. Chancey at first. Garrett representing the tying run. 5-2 lead for the Tigers. Garrett digs in. Cagle will look for the signs and deal. First pitch swing hard, rocket. Over our heads and foul. Garrett just laid on that pitch. Cagle look for the signs and deal. And there for a strike. Now an 0-2 count. Tigers down to their last strike. Cagle to deal the 0-2. 
And a swing and a miss, and that'll end the game. Niners fall 5-2 to the Clemson Tigers. I am Jordan Yuha saying so long from Charlotte, where the final score is 5-2. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Be sure to come out and support your Niners.